Hi, this is Steve from Build2 website, and in this video we're going to talk about shared hosting. Now, for many newcomers to the internet, uh, shared hosting uh, tends to imply some kind of inferior form of hosting, when in fact it's not. It's the most common form of hosting used on the internet, and it's used by, I would say, 99.9% .9 of all the websites out there. And in this video, we're going to talk, talk about exactly what shared hosting is and how it's actually implemented. So we start with a web server. Now a web server is simply physical hardware, uh, i.e. a computer, very similar to the computer you, you're working on right now. And that computer is running an operating system. Now the most common one on the internet is Linux. And in turn that operating system is running web server software. And again the most common one is Apache. So the most common combination you'll find on the internet and the one I recommend you use is the Linux Apache combination. Now we're going to represent that schematically but just with our little blue box here. So there's a web server, as I said, running Linux and Apache. Now, to make it a website, we need to add web pages to that web server and link those web pages to a domain name. So here we've got the uh, website web server one-to-one uh, -one matching or combination. And this uh, configuration is only used by very large websites. In other words, websites expecting uh, thousands or maybe hundreds of thousands of visitors per day. It's used by large companies like IBM, Microsoft and, and people like that. But for small business owners or small websites, then this configuration is not economical. And so a different configuration is employed. And it's what we're looking at here. <coughs> now this time we take our web server and we subdivide it into separate websites. So I'm showing three here and all a website is is a collection of web pages and linked by a domain name. So domain name one is linked to website one, two is linked to website two and domain name three to website three. So now we've got actually three websites sharing a web server. Now this is what we call shared hosting and it is as I said before the most common form of hosting on the internet it's not inferior um, the only problems you really encounter with this is the fact if the hosting provider um, tries to put too many websites on a single server and in that case the symptoms are usually that your web pages are slow to load but most hosting providers are very good at configuring their, their shared hosting and for most people they don't actually ever notice that they're actually on a shared host. So as I said, for small businesses, uh, businesses um, getting maybe hundreds, maybe thousands of visitors uh, per day, but not 100,000 vis visitors a day, then shared hosting is the, is the number one choice. And I say it is used by 99.9% .9 of websites out there on the internet, and it is the one um, you should be starting with uh, maybe as your site grows and you do get lots more visitors uh, hopefully you do then you might think of moving on to a, a dedicated or virtual server okay so I hope that makes more sense to you know what shared hosting is until the next video bye